What is a survey by Lana Martins and Barrett and Hertog? To begin a survey, you must identify the objective and also decide what you want to accomplish. At the beginning of your survey, you must have an introduction. This introduction must be interesting and clearly state the purpose of your research. It must also grab the attention of potential respondents. Definition of a survey is producing quantitative research. It's administered through questions to a sample or population of people to describe the attitude or opinion, behaviors, or characteristics of the population. The two types of research that can be done for a survey are cross-sectional, which collects data at one point in time. Cross-sectional design can examine current attitudes, beliefs, opinions, or practices. Longitudinal research, which collects data about the same type of population and how it changes over time. Types of longitudinal surveys are trend studies, cohort studies, and panel studies. When writing a question, take the time and effort to carefully think about each question. It is important to keep the survey short. Ask only questions that directly address the study goals. There are several things to consider when creating a survey. One is knowing the progress. Make sure the survey is quick and easy to complete. It should also have plain, easy to understand language. Organize questions in logical groups. Ask important questions first, and demographic questions last. Make sure the survey is visually appealing. Allow rotation of question responses. Don't combine two questions into one. Avoid bias or leading questions that indicate the preferred answer. Test your questions on a sample audience. Choose the appropriate question format. Various question types are one choice, multiple choice, matrix, open-ended, one line with more thought for the answer. Common problems in writing survey questions are the question is unclear, multiple questions, questions are wordy, question is negatively worded, question includes jargon, overlapping responses, unbalanced response options, mismatch between questions and answers. Some guidelines to follow when creating a survey are provide pre-notification to the survey sample, complete survey follow-up procedures, other ideas to get high response, study a problem of interest to the survey sample using a brief instrument or using incentive to increase the survey return rate. There are several ways to distribute a survey. You can set up online surveys or manual distribute to participants. It is necessary to get permission when surveying sensitive or minor populations. When incentives are used, they must be small and well-defined to eliminate any misleading information given to the participants, reporting on only the results uncovered through the survey and not exaggerating any of the findings in the only way to be ethically sound. To identify research questions on a hypothesis, describe the characteristics or trends of a population, compare groups in terms of specific attributes, and relate two or more variables. It is important to identify the population and sample, defining the population, determining the number of people in the survey, and assessing if a list of names can be attained are all important to, things to consider. To analyze the data collected, conduct a descriptive analysis of all items and answers, including response rates and biases. To write the report, write using the standard quantitative structure, including introduction, review of literature, research methods, results, and discussion. Located in the methods section of the report, the evaluation is used to justify the quality of your research by using the following criteria. Describe and specify the target population and the sample. Identify how the sample was derived, random or non-random. Discuss the size and sample and the means for deriving the sample sizes. Clearly identify the instruments used in data collection and how they were selected. 
report information on the reliability and validity of SCORE from past uses and questionnaire if it was used before. Mention follow-up procedures to ensure a large return rate and lack of response bias. And use data analyst procedures to answer the research questions or hypothesis. Thank you.